Network. I'm Emory Hunt, the Czar of the Playbook. Joining me now is head football coach of Wagner College, Jason Hotelling. Coach, appreciate you taking time, man. Emory, thanks for coming out and giving us some, uh, give some love here at Wagner. Appreciate it. Staten Island is one of my favorite places to come visit because I had great pizza beforehand. <laughs> so I'm going to walk around practice <laughs> and right. work that off. But it's always good to come out here and see your football team because they're well coached, they're disciplined, they're talented, and they're deep. What's your take on your 2019 Wagner Seahawks so far? I'm excited about it. You know, obviously you start from square one, you know, fundamentally trying to get it right here the first week of camp, um, you know, special, starting with special teams. I think that's one area that if you look at the last couple of years, some 50-50 ball, ball games, we have to do a better job covering kicks. So whether it's a kickoff team or punt coverage, you know, those are two things that are really, really focusing on right now. Coach Wilson's doing a great job. But uh, just excited about the energy, uh, the guys we have on in, in all three phases of the game. You know, Eric Sylvester being the punter coming back and he'll kick field goals, but there's some competition there for the kickoff spot. So uh, the one thing I'll say is there's a competition pretty much at every position coming in. And uh, as we all know, the more competition, the better the team. So. Well, your team always impresses me because not only do you do a good job of developing the talent, but bringing in the talent, but also you coach the coaches and you have a, assembled a, a very good staff here. How good is your coaching staff and how much does that matter at a school like Wagner where you have to really develop these guys? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a huge part of it at all at the FCS level. You know, I couldn't be more excited about the staff we have here. And if you look at the last few years, you know, we have uh, uh, Rich Cangarello, the offensive coordinator of the Broncos, was our offensive coordinator in 2016. And he uh, he has Rob Calabrese, our OC from last year with him. And, and we were lucky enough to replace those guys with really, really uh, good coaches, experienced guys. You know, we have an offensive coordinator in Lee Hall now who, who was a former head coach at Morgan State and spent some time uh, in the NFL with the Annapolis Colts. And uh, defensively, I was able to bring in Dell Smith, who uh, Dell and I GA together here seems like a lifetime ago, um, but he was a head coach at West Virginia Wesleyan, and and both those guys on the side of, um, on their respective sides of the ball have done a great job uh, in the short tenure here. You know, spring ball was really competitive. So, you know, after that, Coach Wilson, you know, Daryl Wilson's a legend uh, in the area and, and and really all over the country as far as what he's done, and um, not to name everybody, but you know, and then Terrence Knight and his NFL uh, resume, and uh, he's a great teacher and, a, and does a great job with our guys. So, all in all, I'm just I'm really excited about the guys we have on staff and the effort they're putting in and what I'm seeing the first week for sure. Now, I don't want to say you could replace Ryan Fultz because you don't replace a guy <laughs> like Fultz, but offensively speaking, when you lose that type of talent in the backfield mm -hmm. and you're trying to find a running game or you're even trying to find someone in the passing game, what gives you confidence this year on offense that, that you can be able to help overcome the loss of a guy so talented yeah I mean Ryan Fultz one of the, my uh, my favorite players I've ever coached you know just a tough tough kid who was obviously really productive um, but I think offensively from a scheme standpoint you know we do run our wide zone uh, scheme and if you look at you know not that we're what these teams were, but if you take a look at the Denver Broncos and, and the Washington Redskins, it's kind of what they were from a wide zone standpoint. And they were able to replace running back after running back. And I think it, it, it has a lot to do with the scheme um, as far as, you know, just keeping it simple for those tailbacks, you know, uh, reading one gap at a time. Now, Again, Ryan made some great plays on his own, and, and when you do get that tail back to a one-on-one -on -one situation, you need a guy who's going to win. And I think some of the guys we brought in, you know, Demetri McKenzie uh, is a guy who's been here and, and was a backup to Ryan last year. We brought a transfer in from Maryland and Ike, and we have a, a pretty impressive-looking freshman from uh, from the state of Florida who uh, did some great things yesterday in practice. Well, I look at the defense, and Cam Gill, I spoke to earlier, outstanding linebacker, but your defense quietly may be even stronger this year Again, what gives you confidence that this defense can be something special this season? I think it's the guys that are on the defense, on the field, you know, and, and again, you have to match that with scheme fit, and and I think uh, Coach Smith and Coach Knight and Coach Wilson getting together, and Jim Munson over there, Coach Munson uh, helping us out, and DJ White and all those guys, I mean, they just they're trying to uh, to make sure we're keeping it simple enough to let these guys make plays, you know, and just fly around, play hard, and uh, play fast, and couldn't be more excited about Cam and Chris. These guys have, and Santoni, again, I can't name them all, but <laughs> they've been around for a long time, and the experiences they've had, I mean, there was a chip on their shoulder last year, I think, coming off a 3-3 three and three conference record and losing some 50-50 games that we felt we probably uh, could have won. You know, should have, I don't say, but we definitely could have won a couple of those games. So uh, I'm excited about them and, and what we uh, are doing right now, and we just got to continue to get better, focus on each day. And you look at right now, final question for me, kids, high school kids are getting ready to start their fall camp. They're looking mm -hmm. at this program, looking at all programs, but 
when they see what you've done here at Wagner, it kind of peaks their ear up a little bit like, okay, this is a school <laughs> I may consider. Why would a student athlete choose Wagner College? I think first and foremost, the educational experience. You know, we're here, we're in New York City. Um, we're a top 5% in the country as far as uh, our internship programs, which in today's world, it's all about getting an internship, meeting the right people, and, and doing the taking advantage of those opportunities. But as far as that goes, the education's outstanding. And then athletically, you know, we play in a great conference. We're in the FCS, and, and I think we uh, we give these guys a great student athlete experience with what we do conference wise the conference is extremely competitive but also our non-conference schedule you know they're going to get a chance to play against some great teams and have some great experiences here yeah, you guys do a great job of playing the d1 ball you d1 program yourself so mm -hmm. coach from the ground up I, I like what you're building here big fan of your coaching style and the players you're bringing in and we wish you the best of luck moving forward thank you for taking time well i appreciate it and obviously you do a great job we appreciate all the hard work thank you appreciate that